What is up guys? Freedom One here and welcome to my live reaction for chapter 1000 of Detective Conan. You guys know I've been waiting for this. You know I have been excited. I have been looking forward to this chapter since the beginning of the year. It's finally here. Let's get into it. What's going to happen? I'm super excited. Let's go. So we've got a nice colored page with Conan. We have the London backdrop. We've got Big Ben in the back. Shown on Sunday. A brand new long case begins. File 1000. Right. We don't actually have a name for the chapter. Okay. So we start with another, another what do you call it? Another color page. Alright, so if you guys want to read along with me, bring it up on your phone, your pad, your computer, whatever way you like to read it, let's get straight into it. Alright, so, we've got a colour page here, guys. No, 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 I can't. Well, come on. Just as Sonic Osama finally declared to take a lovey-dovey shot, let's take one with everyone. No way. How about the hot kiss, Mrs. Eh? Go, go, go. Yeah. Sonico is approaching a blushing run, and behind it, that figure, could it be? Dude, it's Sinichi! It's Sinichi, he's in! In the thousand-year-old town, shining with bright red leaves, enveloping thousands of thoughts, the Crimson School Troop arc begins! Wow, oh, one thousand! The Scarlet Ceiling! Oh, look at Sinichi! Sinichi's in it! Oh! <laughs> This makes me very happy, guys. Very, very happy. I'm a very happy man. Uh, sorry, I bumped into you. Did it hurt? Uh, you shouldn't get too close to me. Uh -uh. I told you before, right? I've caught a mild cold. <coughs> uh, are you okay? I've got medicine for, medicine for a cold, just in case. It's fine. The professor already gave me some, so... Ah. Uh, uh. Is our sweet couple discussing the location of tonight's secret tryst? Oh, whatever that. Oh, God. If you don't knock it off, all right, I'll get really angry. Damn. I'd gotten used to looking up at her from below, and I'd forgotten this feeling. But after looking at her more closely, it, it's... Did it hurt? Or are you? Are you really kudos in itchy? Yeah. Do you remember me? Uh, uh, yeah. We met at the beach when we were kids about 10 years old. 10 years ago, right? Really? About 10 years ago, was it? Yeah, sure. Santa chan let's head to the stage of the Kiyomuzu. Okay, like Kuda. We got lucky, man. Nakamichi? Three girls from Tayton High School's top 10 best girl popularity contest are in our squad. Secret popularity contest? What is Ram place? <laughs> He's curious that where Ron is. Well, since you've already confessed to Morty in London, I think I'll hold back. Idiot! Sonka already has an absurdly strong boyfriend. And Seto knows G Kundo. Wait a minute. How do you know about this confession? Suzuki told everyone. <laughs> Let's all support them together, she said. That that's Sonka! <laughs> oh, he's cracking the shits already. <laughs> I really could. Glad you managed to take part. I thought you might not make it. Well, a lot of stuff did happen. So on another note, it's possible the drug... Definitely not! <laughs> As I thought. That's it. Oi, you've caught a cold. Can I jump? Jumped in once he saw that the charm was about to hit the water. It turned out to be someone else's in the end, but... After that, he kept searching for it in those wet clothes. Yes, you all do look a bit dirty now I look closely. That's because we looked under the car for a for a chan. So it's perfectly fine. So they end up finding her little doll. Guess I should give up on the whole school trip idea after all. I suppose it'd be bad for the world to know that Kuro Sinichi is still alive. Ah! What are you doing, Havara? I'll give you the antidote. But really? But you'll need to follow my instructions closely. Got it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> I love it. He's not even listening. Wow, what a beautiful scene. 
streets. I would take me back to the school trip. Hmm. It's quite tall around. It's quite tall. Around 12 meters, I'd say. Isn't it dangerous to lean forward like that? They say someone will actually jump to their death. They say someone actually jumped to their death here recently. So, what about the answer to Sunichi Kun's confession? Uh, I'm still. You just give him a big son of smooch for real. One so good, he'll feel like jumping off the co the Kiyomuzi stage. That's impossible. Wait for me. Wait for me. The Kurikun. Okay. Soon. So she's wearing a flap. <laughs> Could it be? Aren't you Kurachi Keiko san, the actress? You just won Japan's Academy, Academy Award. Shh. I've come here in secret. So let's keep it between us. Alright, so it's an actress. Oh, a famous person. Let's take a photo together. Okay. If we can be discreet about it, thank you very much. Shinichi Nakamura Kun. Come here, you two. Let's take a picture together. Shinichi? Could you be the high school detective Kuro Shinichi Kun? You're Yukiko Yukiko chan san, aren't you? Uh yeah. I used to help change your diapers. What? You're in Kyoto for a field trip? Which hotel are you staying at? Uh, Nak Nakayaku's? Hey, Mrs. Your husband is cheating on you. She's just a quite an acquaintance, isn't she? No way. We're staying at the same hotel as well. We? Has someone accompanied you? Yes, I came here with some old classmates from the Gion University of Arts to visit the grave of an old friend. Well, I say classmates. But they're all famous people now. Alright, since we're all staying at the same hotel, why don't you visit my room this evening? I've got something to show you. Something to show me? Okay. It's a cipher. A detective's favourite. Alright. Here, this is my room number. She's given him something. I suppose you'd only made plans to have a pillow fight after the lights go out, right? I actually thought of asking Yukiko-chan's husband. It's impossible for you, right? No, it's fine. <laughs> then at 9pm, you can bring your girlfriend with you. Eh? <laughs> the, the girl with the long hair? No. She's been staring at us for a while now. 9pm. Pretty late. All right, so we've got mysterious guy with a mask on. So we click. It looks like they're taking all kind of like uh, photos and stuff like that. This is Yogan in Blood Ceiling. A crime scene from way back in the day. As expected from a high school detective. L let's get out of here. It's fine. It's not going to drip down on you. It's displayed to mourn the fallen war heroes. So you should look up and pray for them to attain happiness in the next world. I, I see. Damn. This is too much. <laughs> so Kudo's like freaking out. I love it. Ah. So you didn't come with just that girl. When I said I was going to meet you, they wanted to come along as well. Since it's a cipher, you can rely on us. Are you going to keep wearing that keep wearing that hat in the room? Yes, yeah, since I fell while shooting and got a small bump on my head. Could it be the shoot for the movie that will premiere at the end of the week? Alright, Crimson Shura Tengu. And the best part of the film is me playing the leading role in a fantasy historical play. No, no, the best would be my direction, wouldn't it now? So we've got the director and another actor. Okay, I beg to differ. The movie will be a blockbuster thanks to my music score. So we've got the composer. Right, those people have been partners in crime since university. Really famous people. So what about the cipher? The script writer, Nish Nishiki-kun, should have it now. So let's all head to his room. Okay. Ah, I got this last week. It's a cipher. With some dry leaves of the Japanese Aria plant enclosed. Hmm. Hmm. What are those four squares at the start of the cipher? It's the mark of the Kuri, the one who came up with all of this. This that guy. This mark was everywhere on his bag, on his notes. So let's just ask him the meaning of the cipher. You can't ask him anymore. He jumped from Kiyomizu stage last month. Eh? That's why I want to solve it. I thought it might be his last message to me prior to his death. 
hey, if you're going to drink at this at the, uh, this hotel's bar, you can always stop by if you want to know the details. Now nah, I'll pass. Then please send me a message when you sold the cipher. We need to exchange. We'll need to exchange addresses for that. Okay. No way. It's quite an elaborate cipher, right? The placement of the letters is off. I think those spaces mean something. What about the enclosed Aralia leaves? Tengas usually have those around them, don't they? Mail from Kegasan. I haven't solved it yet. Eh? Sinechi, quickly come to Nish Nish Nishikun's room. Eh? What happened? Nishikun, Nishikun. Alright. You got stabbed. Weren't you all supposed to be drinking at the bar? Yeah, and we all went back to our rooms after that. We decided to meet in Nishiki's room in, in 10 minutes, but even though we rang the doorbell, nobody answered. So we asked the bellboy son to open it for us. And, and then this. Hmm? Oh, shit. An ancient city enveloped in darkness. Next issue, investigation. Just like a blood ceiling. Mm. Interesting. All right, guys. So that's the chapter. Uh, it's got me thinking. It's already got me thinking. I, I like it. But anyway, guys, that is all for me. As always, if you enjoyed the chapter, enjoyed the video, smash that thumbs up. It will be greatly appreciated. And, of course, guys, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please hit that Excuse me. Hit that subscribe button. It's completely and totally free. And we all like free things. Oh, excuse me. And as always, guys, I'm Free No One. You guys are awesome. And I'll catch you guys with another live reaction. Peace. Go, run away, run away. Go,